Hi folks, Shane here, out on the bike again. Um, what a fantastic morning it is. It's now quarter to eight. Temperature is at 15 and a half degrees. Beautiful weather. And it's time for a ride on the bike. I'm on leave this week and um, as I said in the previous video, I should have been in France with a group of friends. But um, hey ho, there you go. Uh, it's not the end of the world, there's always next year. But um, I decided to hang on to my leave and uh, use it as I felt I needed it. And um, I have to say, getting out on the bike is a real tonic. And today, I brought my little drone with me and hopefully we'll get some dronage up at my favourite spot. But oh, I don't know if that's coming up on the old GoPro, but look at that view of the River Ada there. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, we're off up to Bostolil and I'm gonna pop the drone up just to see what she can do as far as active tracking is concerned with the bike. Hopefully it'll be nice and quiet. If it's not, I'll have to go back tomorrow morning really early. But um, I'm not complaining. Yeah, any excuse to get out on the bike? Happy days as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know about you guys, but this, this year has flown by. It really has. Here we are, third week of June. Oh, sorry, third week of May, coming into June. And um, it, it's gone in the blink of an eye. The last uh, thing I remember doing properly was our trip to Barcelona in February with uh, a couple of good friends, Steve and Sharon, uh, and the wife, um, as uh, both Steve and Kim were running in the Barcelona Half Marathon. A fantastic event for you runners out there. Really good atmosphere, nice little bit of winter sunshine. Uh, and Barcelona, if you've never been, what a stunning place, absolutely stunning place. And if you love photography, you're going to love Barcelona. Little factoid here. Um, the first time I went to the Spanish mainland was three years ago. And that was for Kim's first Barcelona half marathon. I've been to the Balearics and the Canary Isles and everything else, but I've never explored the Spanish mainland. And I have to say, it's a, a place I'd love to do a tour on the bike. Um, whether it's doing the old Taurus bike adventures that um, uh, Mr. Dunflyer Flyer and old Richie Vida go on about, or if it's just a ride around northern Spain or on the BMW with a group of friends. But uh, again, that's all blue sky and future trips. It's a shame we haven't got smell-o-vision because uh, the air this morning smells really nice. I don't know if it's the dew on the ground or, or whatever, but it, it's got a really lovely fragrance about it today. But again, that's something you only really experience on the bike or in a convertible car. But uh, I've had convertibles, love them, but it doesn't beat the old bike, really. What's the river looking like down here? Lovely. Now, rumour has it that the drone laws are changing again this year. Last year I signed up for the drone register and paid me me fee. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't a lot. It was a. It involved a 20 question test, um, which wasn't too bad. If you got a DJI or DJI drone, should I say? Um, you have to do a little test before it allow you to fly, which I think is really good. Um, but yeah, you do a little test, pay your money, and you get your your ticket. 
but I've got a I've heard rumours that that's all changing back into this year so it may be that I'll have to sign up and do my professional ticket um, which you know I know it's a few hundred quid but to be honest with you if I find that I'm using the drone more and more now it's something I'll do and hopefully I can then incorporate it with my work for biker picks thank you such a lovely 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 part of the world and terrific views you know we're very very blessed living here on the south coast with the south downs I mean literally it's taken me 10 minutes to get here from my house and uh, you know to escape civilization is a is a really nice thing in my book so that's Stenin Bowl and um, or Bostel Bowl whatever you want to call it absolutely beautiful and where we're going to go is over yonder and uh, we'll fire the drone up and hopefully get some dronage alright let's pop the drone out and have a look to see what we can see So temperature's gone up to 20.5 and it's only quarter to nine. Happy days. Keep the flies out of the eyes. A lot of people say to me, why do you ride with your flip lid up? And, and to be honest with you, um, if I'm doing speed, I'll drop it down. But for just bimbling around the sort of speed I'm doing now I like to feel a bit of fresh air on my face um, yeah we have to ride with the the fronts down when it's raining and bitterly cold and all that malarkey but whilst it's like this and the speed I'm doing I'm quite happy to have the visor or the flip front up so just coming into Stenning, I might take you through Stenning High Street. Unless it's closed. Stenning's a, a nice old town, been here a long time. Had some very, very famous occupants, I think, over the years. Morning. Um, one of them being Lawrence Olivier. Um, a mate of mine who used to work for a shop or a florist or something, I think he had to deliver flowers to his house on a few occasions. Don't know if he actually met him, but um, yeah. So like most of these places, full of quirky little shops. So for me, hmm. Morning Bonzo, nice looking dog. Ah, oh, I'd say, I do miss having a, a dog. Um, I had dogs uh, through my childhood and part of my adult life. And they are good company. We got a cat called Derek. And um, yeah, Derek, he's a bit of a beast to be honest with you. One minute, he's all over you like a rash. Next, he's like some wild animal trying to rip your arm off. Can't work him out, but um, hey, we love him. Yeah. And he was such a cute little kitten as well. He's turned into a bloody man-eater now. 
<laughs> oh, I'll tell you, I'm so glad I took this week as leave and kept it. Um, I don't know if I'm saying it's a shame we're not in France, but hey ho, as I say, there's always next year and there's thousands of us, thousands of us who can't make the trips we planned this year. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, next year, it'll be even sweeter. I might buy a tent. I haven't been camping since 1977. Um, when I was just a, a young lad of about, how old was I in 77? Oh, God. 13, 14 years old, I suppose. May even be younger. But, um, and it was good fun then, with your mates in the Scouts. But uh, here I am at 56. <laughs> and I'm thinking, will my back suffer? The little camp bed and um, whatnot. But I'm willing to give it a go. Because uh, I really do need to get away on the bike with my mates this year. Even if it's just me and Mitch, my son. Um, just for a long weekend, just to experience it. And if it, if it all goes tickety-boo, I'm thinking possibly going over to um, Switzerland on a camping trip next year, um, which I think would be great fun. Uh, see some videos of some lads uh, doing those trips and uh, they seem to do it well. And, and I'll be honest with you, I think they're older than me. So if they can do it, I can do it. I do love this time of year. Spring, early summer. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, beautiful colours. Lovely skies. Can't beat it. So guys and girls, this is Berry Hill and um, one of my shooting locations and I'm just going to pull in the lay by here just to refresh my memory <laughs> not a bad workplace is it eh again with some cracking views So yeah, this is my workplace, and I should be here on Sunday. Clicking away. Can't wait. Can't wait, and if the weather's like this, it'd be spot on. Absolutely spot on. God, there she is, look. Again. To coin a phrase from Teapot One, look at that! I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but she certainly is mine. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Love it! So, folks, I'm off home now for a sausage sandwich. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my early morning ride and uh, hopefully the flight, if it uh, comes out alright, I'll put it on the video. Um, so yeah, stay safe, thanks for watching, and if you haven't considered doing so, please do subscribe, because um, uh, even though we're still in sort of partial lockdown, I'm going to get in plenty of rides while I can, and uh, hopefully some more dronage, and some more photography for you all. So once again, cheers for watching, stay safe, and uh, see you soon.